Hello, and welcome to the second video of Groundwork 101. In this video, we're going to be working on sending the horse in between you and the fence and rolling the hindquarters over. It has basically the same essential movements from the first video. We're just using them in a little bit different way. And I really like this exercise because it gets the hindquarters really rolling cleanly and sharply. And it also is similar to the same way that you would teach a horse to trailer load or lead past you into the pasture, like through the gate or into a stall. Um, so it's really useful. Um, and again, it gets those hindquarters really uh, rolling over well. So I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start by reaching the outside front out towards the fence. Then he's going to pass in between me and the fence. And then I'm going to take a step forward and roll the hind over. This particular horse is moving pretty slow. There's not a lot of energy in his feet, but I honestly haven't done this much with him. And I don't want to get him worried about passing in between me and the fence. So we'll speed things up here a little as we go along. But for now, I'm just going to let him be nice and quiet. As you can see, he's just a tad bit slow to roll that hind over. So I have to bump a little on this lead rope. But as we go, you'll see that he'll get softer and softer. So now I'll step towards the fence, little bump on the lead rope. Now he'll reach his left front foot towards the fence. Then he'll go forward. Then once he's past me, I'll roll that hind. That time it took quite a bit less um, pressure on the lead rope to get that hind to roll over. So that was pretty good. So back a little, reach the front foot to the outside, go forward in between the fence and I. Now roll your hind clean and soft. So the same for essentials that we used in the first video. So if he comes forward, I'll back him up. Then I'll reach the left front foot towards the fence. He'll pass in between the fence and I, and then I'll roll the hind. So his right hind leg will step up and underneath him in front of his left hind. Good, there he kept the slack in the lead rope the entire time. So that's a good change. You'll see here that a few little mistakes are made. Like when I reach him this way, his inside front foot reaches. He still was clearing his front end to go um, to give me room to pass by. But I would like it to be more correct. But I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. It's, it's not a big deal. He did a good job. And we're going to do it quite a few more times in a row here. So I have the chance to get it right. So I'm not going to worry about making a big fuss because he missed it so he's a little distracted by the um, tractors and the four-wheelers and everything that's going on over on the other side of the arena but we'll just keep working and now i'll just see if i can get his attention a little bit there we go back on me lost it again so we'll just keep working because if the, the mind has to come first then the feet so if his mind's off somewhere else, then I'm not going to have a lot of success directing his feet. So there, when I got his mind back, then I can say, okay, now let's move your feet. So young horses get distracted easily. Um, and we have to make sure we bring their attention back to us in as subtle way as we possibly can before we try to direct their bodies anywhere. Because of the distraction, I had to get just a little firmer rolling that hind a few times too, which is no big deal. Now I've kind of got 
him back focused with me and not worried about the machinery. So there, this last time he was a little softer again. So outside front foot reaches, passes between the fence and I, and then he rolls a high. That one was pretty good. So in this direction, because he twice in a row stepped with the inside front first, I, instead of punishing him, this time I'm just going to prepare him to be successful. So I just had to back him a little bit and get his balance right so that the first foot that came natural for him to reach was the outside front foot. So I get him prepared so that the right thing is what's easiest for him. And that's how we set our horses up to be successful. And it really does make a big difference, even in these little things here. Oh, careful not to back them over the dog. <laughs> so reach the front, pass between me and the fence, roll the hind. Left front foot reaches towards the fence. We're ready here. Left front foot, then he passes by. Now right hind steps in front of the left hind until he faces up. Now this direction, right front reaches towards the fence. He passes by. Now left hind reaches up in the front of the right hind until he's faced up. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to sharing another video with you again soon. Thanks.